I didn't watch the first game. I saw the second one. Uh, I saw Jack really well in the position behind the striker, more central position. Enrico playing the left, but playing more inside. That is intelligent play. Yeah, I think both play good. John also played good minutes in the second game. So yeah, very pleased. They come back no injured, fit, and yeah, good. Yeah, can play. Yeah, yeah, we know it. Yeah. And also, Rico is on the left. Is he good Well, if we need a Rico to go up and down for the left and crosses for the left, it's not good. But you have to play more central position, the short passes, attack more position, central position. This is really good. I saw him really happy yesterday in the training that is two days. I really I saw him really, really well, but I didn't speak about that. Also about well in the last few days of since you brought out fourth fourth kit inspired by Noel Gallagher. Yeah. Just wondered what your thoughts of it. It was a, a good design. A part of being a, a great unbelievable musician, uh, I think is a good designer as well. So the kit is marvelous, it's so beautiful. The colours and everything and and yeah, it looks looks a destiny, right? The moment that the US is back, so uh, he created this uh, for kids, for our fans, for ourselves. So yeah, the destiny was there together. I don't think so. <laughs> if you see the picture with the guitar, I don't think about it that I was playing. Huh? <laughs> no at all. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I don't know about the World Cup. I'm not thinking about it one second. Like the the future far, far away in that time. I don't know. Apparently, yeah, when you are fresh, you know, it's much better. That's why today the training sessions is, is nothing. It's come up to say hi, to laugh a little bit and prepare the next game. So that's why this week is so important to try to see or select good images to learn exactly, understand what they're doing well or wrong and understand that, but you cannot apply, you cannot under training, you know, quite uh, now, maybe a little bit more, but when you're in February, March and April, or maybe December, January, February, the schedule is terrible. So in, in that situation, it's just, you know, it's a right energy to the game. It's what I learned. So when you are in the in the clubs that play a lot of competitions, it's keep, keep, keep the energy to the moment of the game. So not it's not interesting the day before training good or the after because you need energy for the 95 minutes they're going to play, and this is uh, what I think for the quality for more injured less injured. So, uh, I would love to know, but honestly I don't know the consequences direct to the injuries or or uh, performance. So honestly I don't know. Yeah. Game. yeah. He was very angry. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Do, do, you, do, do you sense from your players that they think that the players think the situation is becoming. No, it's, it's something like, you know, it's in the, the store because we're playing Wednesday, uh, Real Madrid, the quarterfinal Champions League. So, extra times, uh, you know, and why are we playing Saturn on Sunday? And the broadcaster say, no, because, you know, it's more audience, you know. More rating audience. No, it was completely the opposite. So United, with the championship team that play Coventry, that was amazing. They have more audience. So if the play is, the game is good, the people will watch. It. So why we cannot play Sunday on Sunday? This understanding is difficult for me to understand. And I said, ah, we have to defend our product. The broadcasters. I defend my product. I defend my club. I defend my players. So this is the thing that is difficult for me to understand it. You know, it's why, why? Now the problem the Tuesday or, or 
against Watford, it's problem was schedule. So there's no more days. So a week is seven days. We are not create eight days a week, nine days a week. No, that's going to happen. Just seven days. So you have to fix all the games, and the schedule is so tight, a lot of games, so it's impossible to handle it. So it just, you know, go go for it. So that's why Bernardo was me and all of us. So because we were absolutely destroyed. So I said before the game, you are sad, right? You are tired, yeah. So we are not going to change that feeling. We went through against Madrid, we could not do it. So we are disappointed. You need time, you know, to process that defeat, to process that. And even you play against Chelsea, you know, there, give me one more day. Why Why not? Give us one more day. Why not? It's the same, no, for them. But yeah, that's why I said next season is going to happen the same. It's going to happen the same. When they would decide, they will not think about it. But it's what it is. We've got quite a lot of requests, so I'll try and limit it to one inch to get through. Yeah, just back on the independent commission that we have the eight seven we've been talking about in Spain. In claims he's spoken with a lot of Premier League clubs and privately they all think City should be sanctioned. Oh, yeah. First of all, do you think he should be commenting on it? And secondly, yeah, maybe it's right. Do you think that's correct? Do you think you've got a point? No, for the fact they've played with the Premier League game teams and want to be sanctioned, that's for sure. I'm agree with Tebas for the first time. Hopefully the last. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I agree with that. So that's why I said Mr. Tebas and the Premier League teams wait. No independent panel, so you know that it's the justice is there in the in the modern democratic countries. So yeah, wait wait the decision. It's it's not much complicated at that. So but I don't know if he's lawyer or all the Premier League teams are lawyers, so what I ask is that is wait. It happened in the UEFA and every time. So we something wrong, we believe we have not done nothing, anything wrong, so we go to the independent panel and we are going to wait. Good. No, not yet. We are in our way. They decide, I don't know if we want to vote or no vote, uh, we see next day, so we, we know it. Do you not vote yourself? Me vote? No, 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 no. Don't make me in this compromise. <laughs> Two more boss. Just one here. Just sit down. And then, uh, just on Jack Grealish again, um, he's been up by today. Um, for instance, there's a lot of talk about his performance for England. You've been here three years now. How do you think Jack has changed and developed and improved as a player since he's been here from the guy who arrived from Aston Villa to the guy who's. It's a question for him. I think he's an exceptional player in Aston Villa, he's an exceptional player here. I think he made a have half good first season. The second was unbelievable, excellent season. Last season was <laughs> not good, and this season start a part of the niggas, really good. So hopefully can can do a good season. Um, I'm a fast media Armenia, uh, Mister. Uh, uh, midfielders playing in the pockets are very important to your Who? teams. Pockets. Midfielders. Yeah. The quality that they, they have. There are players that can play inside and players cannot play inside. Depends on the qualities, the skills they have. Not because I want one player there, they have no skills to be there. And people feel more comfortable being outside, the other inside. So it depends on the quality of the, of the players. Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys.